Hey guys, today we're going to be doing some uh, beginner Excel or basic Excel if you're completely new to Excel or maybe you just need a refresher, so uh, check it out. Just a few things to get started. Um, just to understand the Excel lingo or the language of it, um, there's three things that we should know is the tabs, so what are tabs in Excel? These uh, um, items across the top, home, insert, page layout, these are the tabs. So we'll click, they all have different commands in them for different functions. So um, these are the tabs, and this is the Excel ribbon within each tab. And then at the bottom here, these are the groups. So this is the font group, and each group has a drop down menu for even further commands. So just to recap, this is the uh, tab. So if I said go to the insert tab, that would be the insert tab and go to the charts group. This is the charts group in the uh, in this ribbon under the insert tab. All right, and just some movement. Um, you can move along Excel with your cursor, so with the, the actual arrows so up, right, down, left, uh, down, up, or um, you can press enter, which would go down, or tab, which would go to the right. And you can also use the cell name so this is the name box, and just type in a cell. So if I typed in A21, it'll go to A21. So that's just um, how to uh, move in Excel. Uh, just a few things here, I'll get rid of this, so. All right, so in a lot of um, assignments, or um, if you're doing a report, you'll probably have to document um, who created it, so we'll do that uh, simply right here. And this is sort of getting into um, formatting cells. So there's two ways you can fit your name if it's like mine and it doesn't fit um, into the default cell size. Um, you can double click in between the B and the C columns and that would auto fit. And it wouldn't matter how long your name was, it would just auto fit to uh, adapt to the size of your name. Or you can do another way to fit your name in there. Now Excel is different from Word. If you press enter to try and get on to, let's say if I want to make Mike on one line, Carter on the second line, it wouldn't work. It would just go down to the next cell. For this you have to press alt enter. So if I want to make Carter on the second line, I'm going to press, press and hold alt and click enter. And now when I get out of here, now it's two lines. Okay, so if you want to make multiple lines, um, you have to press Alt and Enter at the same time. And a cool trick, if you want to use the current date, um, press Control and semicolon, and the current date comes up. Also, um, you could put in the current time by, very similar, press Control and colon. Okay. So... Control semicolon and then control colon would get you the date and the time. All right, just a few things about cells. Um, this is the what we call the cell name. So this is where the column, column F, and the row meet. And this would be the cell name. So the name of the cell is F9. You can also highlight a range of cells, which could, could contain words uh, numbers or even formulas, which we'll get to um, much, much later. Now, I'm going to start typing in a cell. So I'll just click on this cell and type yes and press enter. Now, oh, look, it already formatted it for us. It already uh, corrected the yes. But let's say uh, I made a mistake. All right, so there's two ways to edit. You could just simply retype something over top of it. So you just click on it once, retype it, and it overrides the last one. But let's say if it was like a long word and we just wanted to change one little thing, you don't want to have to overwrite it all over again. Um, you can double click the cell and look what happens here. It goes from ready mode to edit mode once you double click the cell with your left um, mouse cursor. So edit would come up and then you can just change that one little thing. Okay, so that's a way to edit the cell. Um, now we're going to copy and paste this cell to these remaining cells. So uh, the way I do that is go to the Home tab, click Copy, highlight the range you want, and then click Paste. All right, and that's all done. Now, I've made uh, quite a mistake in here. 
and this is this is a mistake I usually make when I'm typing out something. Um, duplicate. So I've typed in my own name twice by accident. So I'll show you the difference between clearing content and deleting it. So we're going to clear the content from these cells. Okay, you can do the same thing with backspace or delete. Um, it cleared the content, but it didn't delete the row. Sometimes you just want to clear what's in the cell and then not actually delete the row. Okay, but then there's also deleting the row. So I'm going to click on the row, right click, delete, and we've deleted the row. Okay, so there's a difference between clearing the content and actually getting rid of the row. So just be careful and uh, know the difference. Again, I'm just going to press backspace to get rid of this one now. Um, we're going to cut and paste. So I'm going to right click, cut, and then I'm going to paste here. Okay, or the, there is also the drag and drop um, option as well. So highlight a range, and then you can move it over. All right, so that would be another option if you wanted to move uh, data or information around. You could highlight it and then drag and drop it wherever you like. Um, Excel also has this feature at the bottom here. Um, this is called the fill handle. This will fill, um, it'll copy and paste, but it also will recognize a small patterns. So it'll recognize this pattern. Watch what happens when I grab, so I click on the fill handle at the bottom and then I drag it to the right. Um, it gets that, okay, the next week's gonna be week four and the one after that's gonna be week five. So it gets small little patterns like that. It's very good at that. And that's what we call the fill handle. So we could keep going on forever and it would save us a lot of time. Now, um, the find and replace option. Let's say, okay, you know what? Um, the school department section here, um, it has full names for everything else except for the early childhood education program. Uh, we want to fix that. So if you had a bunch of those, um, it would be really hard to, uh, you know, just do it individually. So instead, we're going to save time. Uh, go to find ECE. So wherever we typed in ECE, and we're going to find all. Okay, so there's two entries. Replace it with early childhood education. Uh, replace all. And it's done. And now we have to auto fit this column. So we're going to double click, and now everything fits. All right, and that's it for your Excel basics. Thanks for watching, and I hope that takes you one step closer to mastering Office programs to become that Office Pro. Thanks for watching.